Hi gang, Rob here. It's the evening of 29 July 2014 and tonight I'm going to begin a video series uh, that's been sort of percolating inside me for a long time now. Um, over the last few months the content on my channel has been really almost exclusively knives, uh, <laughs> how-to videos on knives, knife reviews, making knives, um, and it's definitely time for me to take a brief break from that for just a minute. Um, not that it's going to disappear, not by any means at all, but over the next few months I'm going to weave in some videos from this series I'm kicking off tonight. I think I'm going to call it America, the world's largest Christian mission field. Um, interesting title, maybe provocative to some of you. I mean, let's face it, it's true, isn't it, that America is a Christian nation? We're made up of predominantly Christian people. Some surveys, you know, if you, if you averaged them all out, 83% of our population would identify themselves as Christians. And before I get started on the meat of what I'm going to talk about in this series, I, I want you, my subscribers and viewers, to help me with a bit of a survey. Um, <clears throat> not scientific, I just want to get uh, a feel for who's listening, who's watching, and where you come from spiritually. So I want you, uh, if you would take the time to do so, to answer some questions in the comment section of this video. Um, I think it's kind of important, so please help. <clears throat> so here you go. Uh, these are some broad, but I think kind of important questions. So, and identify your answers by question number, if you would, just to help me sort them out. And then I'll speak to the survey results, compare them uh, to some more well, some larger and more scientific surveys that have been done and kind of use the responses and my general feel for my audience uh, to tailor the rest of the series. <clears throat> so, question number one. Do you identify yourself as a Christian? And only those, please, who answer yes to question one should answer the rest of the questions. <clears throat> And my reasons for that will become clear. I'm not discriminating. I'm just kind of trying to get an idea about some beliefs of those folks in America uh, who identify themselves as Christians. That doesn't mean you can't participate if you're from France or the Republic of Georgia. Please do. <clears throat> Second, question number two. Do you believe in absolute moral truth, not dependent on circumstances or culture? Question number three, do you believe in the inerrancy of Scripture as the true Word of God? Is the Bible 100% true? Question number four, do you believe that Satan is a real being and an active force of evil in the world? Question number five, do you believe in a literal heaven and a literal hell, places we will spend eternal life, or places we will spend eternity. <clears throat> Number six, do you believe you can earn your way to heaven by living a life of good works or good deeds? And Number seven, do you believe Jesus Christ lived a sinless life on earth? So those are the seven questions. Uh, please answer them and please think about your answer. <clears throat> you don't need to write a novel, um, but feel free to explain your answers. And I'll sort of digest this data for a few weeks and that'll give me a place to start uh, in this series, America, the world's largest Christian mission field. Thanks for your help, grace to you, and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And after all this talking, I noticed that my lips have become a little dry, and uh, it's time to apply some of this. This is uh, Love Balm, <laughs> homemade, 
by the Fresh Princess, or Fresh P, as she has come to be known on YouTube. That's Cody's sister, Cody of Wrangler Star. If you're not subscribed to Fresh P, please do. Uh, she is something else, and she makes really good homemade chapstick. Mm. Got a few more videos to make tonight, and I won't be able to blame their low quality on dry lips. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Talk to you soon.